Hello friends. So continuing with our uh, uh, journey on trigonometry. So we are today going to discuss fundamental relations between the trigonometric ratios of an angle. Now the ratio, the relations which we are going to discuss in this session and the next session probably will be very very useful all through your trigonometric journey. So uh, till whatever level you take up trigonometry these basic relationships are going to be very very useful so uh, paying attention to this and hence taking note of it and then using these relations into problem solving will be very very crucial so let us see the first and the very basic relationship so in this case i have shown a triangle abc which is right angled at a and let us say this side bc is hypotenuse h and this side AB is base B and this side AC is perpendicular. Now by Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem, what do we know? By Pythagoras theorem, we know that H square is equal to H square is equal to P square plus B square. And also let us assume this angle ABC is nothing but theta okay now we know that h square is equal to p square by b square so hence now dividing dividing this equation by h square both sides i can divide by h square because h is not equal to zero clearly h is not equal to zero because it's a hypotenuse of a right angle triangle with some definite area so hence h is not equal to zero so division by h square is allowed so hence i can say h square upon h square is equal to p square by h square plus b square by h square isn't it now what will h square by h square be so this is nothing but one and now let us focus on p by h so let me write this as p upon h whole square i can take the power 2 as common and then here it b upon h whole square isn't it now let us just understand what is p by h now if you look closely into this triangle then p upon h is nothing but opposite by opposite by hypotenuse if you see opposite by hypotenuse to theta and this is nothing but sine of theta isn't it similarly b upon h is equal to adjacent upon hypotenuse and this is nothing but cos theta right so hence i can replace this relationship as and i can you know take lhs in the uh, or, or i reverse these two terms so I'll, i i take rhs as lhs now or rather let me write it for avoiding any confusion so p by h square plus b by h whole square can be written as one i just swapped the two sides now what is p by h we just found out this is equal to sine theta whole square plus cos theta whole square and this is equal to 1 which is now written as sine square theta so it is sine theta whole square can also be written as sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 this is very very famous relationship very very famous relationship this can be further reduced to sine square theta these forms should also be remembered sine square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta and similarly cos square theta can be written as 1 minus sine square theta is it now same can be further simplified so 1 minus cos square theta can be written as 1 minus cos theta times 1 plus cos theta isn't it because it is a minus b form so i'm writing it here it's a square minus b square form which is nothing but a minus b times a plus b so you can use it here so it is again one square if you look closely this is also one square minus sine square theta so hence it is 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta okay this is how so you remember this form very very important and these these two forms as well okay in the next session we'll take up the next relationship